Hey guys, I've been ridden hard and put away wet once again. I'm here in Kalibo, which is one island south of Boracay, which is where I was for one week. I was here kind of on a budget trip, stayed in like a budget kind of boutique type of place with bunk beds and I stayed in a mini kind of private room for the first couple of days and then bunk bed rooms for a few days. Did beach stuff, which is always free. It was pretty interesting and pretty amazing and three people came to know Jesus, one, two, three. And so that was huge because I think it's been about a year since I've seen someone actually come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Sometimes it seems like a long dry season of sharing the gospel as the Lord leads and, and sharing testimony and then uh, all of a sudden it seems like the Lord just moves and something special happens. And so, long story short, I'm from my past life, I'm a project manager and some of those things that I learned in project management training I apply more than others to the mission field, to the mission work that I do and one of them is research. I really, really, really research when I go somewhere typically, kind of over research and typically under, under plan, like really under plan and I think a lot of that is that I'm, I'm in cultures now that are slower and I like to kind of flow with the culture and vibe with the culture, if you will, and not really get kind of kind of bound and gagged to some kind of, of schedule or plan. And so here you can, it's typical to get a, a plane from, to get a plane ticket kind of last minute from one island to another, and typically not much more expensive than it would be if you got it a, a couple weeks in advance. So on the way back, I, I did that. I didn't, I didn't have my ticket from Kalibo here that I needed to get to Manila and then to back to Bangkok where I live now and so had planned to get that kind of last minute and trusted the Lord to provide and the money wasn't there when it was time to do it. I kind of, uh, even with the budgeting, even with the, the budget stuff that I did, uh, still ended up not with enough money and it was really just hopeful that the Lord would provide in, in that amount of time. But he always provides and it's just a matter of when. Sometimes it's very last minute and sometimes there's another purpose for why he didn't provide you know at the time that appeared to be your last minute. So in this case I came back to <clears throat> came back to Kalibo and thought hey um, I'm just gonna wait here then and and whatever it takes you know until the money comes through. So got a very very cheap little motel kind of thing and then realized, hey, tomorrow's Sunday, I need to find a church. So I looked for a Baptist church online, found that, had an extremely difficult time in the morning, this morning trying to find it. I think I left about 9.15. Uh, went to, tried to go to one church and it wasn't there where GPS said it was and couldn't get through, couldn't call them for some reason. And then we tried another church and that one wasn't where it was supposed to be and the people around said that the church closed down it opened up down the road and then they tried to direct us there and and couldn't get there and so long story short I felt led to to uh, share with somebody and went into a store and saw a person and then went across the street and that person led to another person and that person knew where the church was and so they got in and, and paid for a trike which is like a tuk tuk for the three of us to go to this to the Baptist church. We get there, it's 11 o'clock, the church is over, basically. So went and shared testimony with um, the, the son of, I guess kind of like the son-in-law of a relative of the pastor. So talked to him for a while, which is a blessing. And then there was a birthday, there was a woman there, it was her birthday, she, I shared testimony with her and we were talking back and forth and she gave me a fist, a fist of money. To, to help me and what a humbling experience just as a side note I came from a banking background where I by, by American standards I sure wasn't rich but I had, certainly had enough and I certainly have enough as a missionary the Lord always provides and always meets needs uh, but there's not a lot of excess and you, you give up one thing for a greater purpose and and so praise the Lord he always provides and and so she provided what a humbling thing for, for that woman to give me part of, I think, what she got for her birthday. And so we, I came back over here and, and had, had got the word through email before church that the money came through that the Lord had provided, so it's just a matter of it being transferred to my account. So it's kind of a technicality and I'm trusting the Lord to push that through and here it is on a Sunday, so I don't know how long that's gonna be. 
I may be staying here on the bench for a couple of days. But anyway, the, the bottom line of the story is that the Lord sometimes has a greater purpose in what appears to be a horrible, horrific budgeting mistake or whatever kind of mistake that we do. He uses our mistakes to His glory. And in this case, there's no, no difference. So we came over here and, and we went to the, after the church, the, the young guy took me to the school where he attended for a long time. And we compared notes about my Christian school that I grew up in until ninth grade and his Christian school and so on. We knocked on the door across the street to the where the teachers and that sort of thing live, and there's an assistant interim pastor there that came out and showed us around the school. Before he did, he sat down beside us and said, "Why are you here?" And I said, "I don't know," you know. <laughs> and I shared kind of what happened, overview, and, and said, "I don't know. It seems like the Lord maybe has me here for some other reason." And so we, as we're talking, we're, we start to share about um, evangelism, and I wanted kind of their input on evangelism in Philippines and what's kind of what's kind of uh, tips about about evangelism here and so on. So we talked about that for a little bit. Then we went across to um, how the Lord brought three people to Himself in repentance this this week, and praise the Lord for that. And then He said, "Well, I'm the the son of the pastor in, at the Boracay Baptist Church, where I had just referred these three guys and." It's really vital that, that new believers get into church, that all of us go to church regularly. So I got I got goosebumps on my arm and praise the Lord. It was it was you know the Lord had revealed there part of why He had me here, other than the trial and the test. And I think I think a lot of that was to see if I really believe what I say. I get on here and run my mouth to people and run my mouth to people in person about trusting the Lord, but do I really practice what I preach? And this is another test toward that end. Praise the Lord for His grace and His mercy. And we know that my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory.